Hi guys, so the camera might be situated a little bit better because, or worse, because I'm uh, trying to clean up and things like that, but I just wanted to preface that I'm not a medical professional. This is just what I do, what I've known that works. Um, it may not work for you, and if you're allergic to any of these essential oils, you should not use them. Um, but like I said, this is what works for me. I'm not a medical professional, but this, this is what works for me. Anyway, bye. Hi guys, so today we're going to play with this lovely bin. This is my essential oils bin. Um, and if you live in a climate like I do, where there's a lot of, we get a lot of gloomy days and things like that in the fall. Now, mind you, we should be getting some better days coming up, but we've been rainy and gloomy, and I get these things called barometric pressure headaches, and I don't get headaches too often but when I get these they just stay and nothing I've tried except for this thing works at all to get rid of them. Um, I used to have a little roller ball looks like this filled with an essential oil that I combined myself um, but then I and then I roll on my temples and it makes me feel better. I managed to finish it, and just as I was about to refill one, I crushed the bottle. But then I thought it was a good, I, and then I grabbed, so I grabbed two more today. So I'm going to have one for my headaches and then one for stress because that usually causes my anxiety. So I'm going to have two. I'm going to label one with one and one with the other so that you know which one's which, but right now we're going to do the one for my barometric pressure. So you'll need a roller ball. Now I bought these at my local um, health food store and they were like $1.50 Canadian. They look like this, with the lid, and then these just pop off. If I can do this with my nails. Okay, so these just pop off and you can fill this part of the ball. So just leave that like that. Um, you'll also need a carrier oil. Um, this looks like it's sponsored, but it's not. These just happen to be the ones that I can get readily available. Um, this is the carrier oil I use. You can use anything. I use grapeseed oil or I use hobo butt oil. I've got both in my kit. Um, this is my hobo butt oil bottle. It just depends on what I'm doing. I find that this one works better than this one for this specifically, so I will be using that. Um, you will need eucalyptus oil. Um, you can use eucalyptus oil, lavender oil, rosemary, or peppermint. I tend to, um, I've tried a whole bunch of different um, combinations. Uh, I like the eucalyptus and if I can find it, the peppermint, and I've never actually had a lavender essential oil um, on hand. Um, I haven't been able to get it recently. I had family members that were allergic to lavender, so I haven't um, gotten it from my kit just yet, so, um, so that won't be in this version, but I've got quite a few of each of these, so... About like two eucalyptus and three peppermint or something like that. Um, it's a bit ridiculous. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the eucalyptus one first, since it's the one in my hand, and I'm going to put roughly 10 drops, because it already has the dropper in it. If you don't have a dropper, I mean, I use this is for medicine for children, um, or you can buy a dropper. Um, it's up to you. And this usually takes. And you don't want too, too much because they are potent. And then equal parts. So I do equal parts depending on what it is. Um, sometimes with the rosemary or like clary sage, you don't need as much or the uh, oh, And this is going to go everywhere because this one is the one that doesn't like to come out. 
This is going to go everywhere with the bottle. Okay, on my hands. It's going to smell like peppermint in this house for days. Oops, sorry guys. So I am going to now put this on. And then... I'm going to fill it with the carrier oil. And I'm going to have to clean up everything. Because I definitely made a huge, huge mess. And now it just smells like oil in here. Peppermint mostly. Oh. And you just fill it up with the carrier oil. Pop the lid back onto the bottle. Make sure it's not too full. Or... <clears throat> it'll overflow. And then you just tip it over a couple of times to kind of mix those together. And you put the lid back on. And that's my essential oil ball roller for my headaches. Um, and then I'll do a different one with different essential oils for my stress. And that will be another video. So that's all I have for you today. I'm going to get cleaned up because all I smell and taste is peppermint essential oils. Bless a beat and keep crafting, which is...